Hi everybody and welcome back. Feels so weird. Like it's been over two months or a month and a half that I have not filmed. For you guys that follow me on my other social media, as you guys know that my computer had a big glitch on it and it just broke down on me. So I was finally able to get myself a new computer and I'm back to filming with you guys. So since I had a huge film vacation and I wasn't filming I was thinking a lot of all the videos that I wanted to do for you guys I decided to start doing some monthly favorites for you guys I really wanted to film and show you guys my favorite products that I like to use within that month and I want you guys to know that these are my complete honest opinions on all my products that I'm just gonna show you guys I know a lot of other favorite videos they show you guys from like moisturizer to setting spray all the steps of you know makeup and they show you their favorite product so if I don't have like a favorite lipstick or a favorite blush or something that month you know I don't want to just go into my pile of makeup and pick out any blush and tell you guys it's my favorite so I'm only going to show you guys my favorite products and so for this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my February favorites if you guys are interested in knowing all these awesome products then just keep watching okay so first I'm gonna show you guys what I prime my face with this is my all-time favorite primer as of now it's actually been my favorite for at least four to five months and this is my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is a base mattifying primer. I love, love, love this thing. It keeps my face super matte, especially during the summer. This actually, It's actually when I got it last summer, and I've been using it ever since. So I always seem to get um, oily like on my T-zone, and I always apply this on there right before any of my makeup, and obviously after my moisturizer, but it is the bomb I've been using it you guys can already tell it's already super skinny and I have to go get myself another one but I love this thing you guys should definitely try it out if you guys have oily skin the only thing with it it is a mattifying primer so you want to apply it right before you apply your foundation because if you put this on and you let it sit there for you know a couple minutes and then you go do something else your face is gonna feel very mattifying okay so after moisturizing and priming my face I do my foundation and as of now my favorite foundation is the locket foundation from Kat Von D you guys have to try this I heard so many good reviews and I've been having it for the past five weeks and I've been using this like non-stop it is very full coverage and you literally need like just one pump on each side because it all you know it blends out so good so when I first got it the first mistake I did is add so much of it I think I was too excited but you do not want to add a lot of it with this product a little bit goes a very long way so it also has like a matte finish and if you have oily skin this will work really good for you another thing with this product is that I have to apply like really fast because I always normally how I do my foundation is I apply it you know all over my face and then I blend it out with my beauty blender and by the time I'm blending this out if I let this side sit too long I feel like this side is just harder to blend out because it's just been sitting there and the air kind of dries it so I normally been doing like one side of my face first and then I do the other side of my face and I have no problem with it so if you guys do try this out just try to do you know one section at a time because it is like a matte foundation so it dries pretty quick and other than that the coverage is really good I use so little product and it literally gives me like a full coverage which is awesome I love it I love full coverage foundation next I'm gonna show you guys my favorite eyebrow product and that is gonna be my benefit brow gel and I just love the way it looks it kind of reminds me of the Paris um, building and it also comes with a brush in here I personally don't use it because I like the brush that I use but if you guys don't have a brow brush it also comes with the little one right here I mean I'll probably use it for like traveling or something if I don't want to take an extra brush I've been using the Anastasia um, pomades and I truly still love those but for this one I just feel like the consistency of this one it's a little bit more better it's more creamier I don't know if it's just my pomades from Anastasia but they seem to be drying out a little bit but this one has just been doing everything for me I love it and it's so cute and I do have this pomade on my brows right now so Okay, so next is going to be all my favorite eye products, and I normally start with my eyeshadow, so I'm going to show you guys this one of my favorite palettes, and I'm not saying this because of the creator of this palette. That would be my Kylie Burgundy palette. I really, really like these colors. I love them because they're really pigmented. They're super easy to blend out. I feel like I really love it because this is like my everyday palette, and I normally use like these two transition colors and then brick almond and burgundy and this gold eyeshadow oh my god you guys this is like the best 
gold eyeshadow like, like I said I feel like this palette comes up top of me because I use it every day for work this is my favorite palette for the last two months I want to say ever since I got it maybe like a month later I just been using this like crazy and I always have a favorite palette that I use every day for work but right now it's been the Kai Shadow palette okay so for eyeliner this is one of my favorite liquid eyeliner first of all the way it looks is so pretty it's like a gold rose color I know it's gonna give you like a gold or like a different color payoff on the camera but it is a rose gold color and this eyeliner is from LA Splash Cosmetic it's the Architect Waterproof Slim Eyeliner. I love this freaking thing. The tip of this eyeliner is so thin. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? It's just so easy to work with. It is a waterproof eyeliner and it lasts me all day. It's not like when you buy, you know, a new eyeliner and then you're testing it out and then it starts to like peel from one side or just, you know, fade away and you're like, where in the did my eyeliner go? No, this stays on your lid all day. Okay, so now for lashes. I recently ran into these lashes. I found them in Target. I just thought they were really nice. They're really fluffy. And these are the Lash Culture Lashes. This one is in Little Black Dress. And I don't know if you guys can see. And I've just been using these like all the time because they're so nice and natural looking. They're not too thick either where they look super false. They're just perfect and they're really affordable too. They're at Target and I think Walgreens has them. And I actually have these on today if you guys can see. Okay, so now for highlighting and contouring. I normally just cream highlight. After that, I've been using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer for my under eyes. I love this thing. It's super easy to blend out with your beauty blender or your finger or, you know, whatever brush you want to use. I normally do it with my beauty blender or my ring finger. Just a very small container like this. And then you just want to press onto it. Where is it? Function. So it comes out. And again, with this product, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to show you guys a bit right here. And so it gives you like a medium full coverage and it's actually very light so it's very easy to blend but once you know it starts to blend and set I feel like it gives you like a more full coverage which is kind of weird I don't know if it makes sense but basically when you add it it's very like liquidy I can say not too liquidy though it's liquidy enough to blend it out it just makes it super easy to blend out but as you're blending it starts to like set and thicken up a little bit but not too much where it feels super heavy just like the perfect amount of thickness or whatever that it makes you feel like you have a perfect full coverage under your eyes and a perfect highlight so I love this thing I've been using it every day since I got it and you guys should definitely give this a try because they're looking out for a new concealer Okay, so now for contouring, I've only been using a lot of like powders or bronzers. This is my NARS Laguna bronzer. And I've been obsessed with it for way more than a month, but I wanted to show you guys anyway. Pretty sure a lot of you guys know how this one looks. It's one of the most used bronzer out there. And it's very pigmented and very easy to blend out. Okay, so for highlight, and I do have this one on today. This one is my Mimosa highlight for my Anastasia Glow Kit. And you guys can see it kind of has like a very nice brown undertone. And I think it's mostly because I'm more like on the tanner, darker side. So it kind of has like a very nice light tan golden brown bronzy look in the bottom of this so I feel like it just goes much better with my skin and rather than me putting like a very pinky or like a white ashy highlighter so I've been really liking this one and I'm honestly not sure I forgot to check if Anastasia sells the individual pots like this but this one does come in the Anastasia Glean kit and it does come with three other shades but my favorite is Mimosa. I've been using this one like crazy. Okay, so now to set under my eyes. I normally do this right before my concealing, but I've been obsessively using this powder. Oh my god, you guys, you guys need to try this out. And that is the Larda Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is like the thinnest, thinnest powder in the whole damn world you know i never really go to white powders like this or translucent powders because i am like a tanner skin tone so i don't really like to put like ashy colors or white stuff on my face because i feel like it just makes my face look ashy my biggest fear is like having like white flashes on my face when i take pictures or you know just walking around looking like i have a ghost face on my cheeks or something like that so you guys really need to give this a try i love this thing very easy to blend it's very thin and smooth and easy to apply it gives 
your highlight a nice smooth finish and it's definitely a secret nobody will know you have a white powder setting all your concealer it is the best powder right now that I've been using I actually stopped using my banana powder for a really long time now because I've been so into this one and I've been using this powder to set my whole highlight and bake and clean out my contour and all of that good stuff so really 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 love this product seriously for lips i've been using a bunch of ColourPop liquid lipsticks and these are one of my three favorite ones they're very pigmented the color payoff on these lipsticks are really good and they dry matte pretty quick i'm still on like the fall colors i just like and rather and prefer more like a nude color and if i don't want a light nude color then i'll just darken the nude color if that makes sense so i'm more into like fall colors forever these are my top favorite ones and this one is in teeny tiny kapow and trap and the one I have right now is actually in the shade Kapow and it's this one right here and the wand in here itself is actually really easy to like line your lips and I really don't use a lip liner for these the applicator is really thin so it lets you kind of do the whole thing at once which you know you can definitely use a lip liner if you prefer to but I feel pretty comfortable with just using um, the applicator itself and I'm gonna show you guys a quick swatch okay so the one I have right now it is like I said Kapow I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch the other two for you guys and this one is in trap and there it is and the dirties so it kind of has like a pinky kind of nude look in there and it's and then the other one is in teeny tiny i'm super messy sorry it's really hard to do this you know right next to the camera now it's all messed up Ew. okay so i also wanted to show you guys one of my favorite apps on my phone you know because it's all about being on your phone now i'm just so i've been on ibooks a lot and one of my favorite book that i finished reading this month already but you know i've come packaged up in a pretty pink bow this one and the book that I've been listening to right now is The 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do from Amy Morin. And I freaking love this book. This is actually my second time listening to the whole thing. And, you know, it gives you so many good feedback and advice about your life. And it just helps me, you know, with my whole motivation and attitude and my full spiritual way of being every day. So it just helps me to feel happy and appreciate everything I have in life. And that's why I like to listen to these. You guys can also download the Audible app if you guys don't have an iPhone. And most of the books that iBooks has, Audible will have. And they are the actual like books to read and the audiobooks. I've been using it for the past couple of months I want to say like four or five months and I just been like on it every single day and most of the time I'm doing auto books because I just feel like it's easier to um actually do I feel like it's honestly easier for me to play a book because instead of playing music I get to play my book or when I'm cooking or I'm just alone or doing my makeup or you know whatever it is I'm doing or driving then I can just play my book instead of playing music which I just Feel like sometimes it's necessary <laughs> so so another app that I've been on it's called Romy 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 and it's right there me <laughs> and there it is there it is so it's a clothing app you get to buy like all this super cute clothes so I've been on this app for about almost two months now and I order about two to three times size on the clothes it's really accurate some of them have the actual like measuring size and stuff which you know helps a lot okay so another app is the power clean app for iPhones and this freaking thing saves your life if you are someone that goes you know a lot to a certain place that you already know that there's no good service if you download this app it basically cleans out your phone not deleting any of your you know personal stuff but it cleans out the um, storage and the gigabytes in there which just helps your phone become faster so it's called power clean and all you do is I don't know if you guys can see all you do is press clean and look how fast it is like you don't even need service for this but it basically cleans out your phone and then there it is and you just press clean and look how fast it's cleaning my phone right it's just one thing that helps your phone become faster if you feel like it's a little slow then just download that app and clean your phone <laughs> sometimes it's just a lot of junk on here that we have right okay guys so that is it that is the end for my monthly favorites and if you guys have your favorite products leave me a comment down below i'm always looking for new things to try i am a person who loves to try new products so if you guys do have a favorite product and you guys know it works awesomely then just leave me a comment down below and if you for those of you guys that notice my shirt it says you are my 
favorite you guys are also all my favorites even though I just started on YouTube about a year ago I'm really thankful for every single one of you guys and if you guys enjoy and like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my next video thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys next time bye